What's up, guys? I know you can't see me right now. That well, well, I got something I want to talk about. I got a couple of things I want to talk about, actually. What up, them? First off, I want to start by saying, by the way, I see all your guys' comments. Whoever comments, I see them all. Thank you to whoever's been dice or saying dice. Thank you all, I guess. Uh, to the people who haven't been dice, I, I mean, <laughs> I don't care. Thank you, I guess. I don't know. I appreciate the hate too, it's cool. Anyways, so something I want to talk about though. I'm not saying anybody has to do this or take my advice. I'm just letting I just want to put someone put something out there that I think is really important or that I don't know if people realize or really even think about. But, and you know, there was something that I, I noticed growing up when I was younger. I obviously could tell that both my mother and father loved me and loved all of their children. But Something used to always bother me, and obviously, again, now as an adult, it makes sense, and I would hope most relationships, or most marriages are like this, because this is how it should be. So, notice growing up, I realized, and I, and I realized, you know, I'd get in certain situations or arguments, especially with my dad, or I'd have a disagreement or something, and I would go to my mom, or vice versa, but most of the time it was me going to my mom, um, she wouldn't, she wouldn't end up taking my side, basically, like, she would, uh, she would basically almost team up with dad. My mom, my mom and dad always seemed to like, they would always, you know, it, and obviously I don't, I would think most kids know that the parents obviously decide with each other if it comes to disagreement with the child. I think most kids know that, and I do that, and I expected that, that's what happened, but it wasn't, it wasn't just necessarily just that either. It was like, it was that, and I felt like, um, I feel like if there was ever a life and death situation, and like, my parents had to pick between, say like my dad, especially with my dad, like my dad, it was always so obvious to me, not that my dad didn't love me, but he didn't like us, because he did love us, he did like us, but I always kind of knew deep down, and they ended up telling me later, like they ended up admitting that that's how they probably would do it, um, they wouldn't want to say that, but that's more than likely what be their first thought. What I'm talking about is like, they... If there was like a life or death situation, I know for a fact, like if my dad had to choose between letting my mom get killed or letting one of his kids get killed, he would have probably saved my mom. <laughs> okay, so listen, I want to propose a question to everybody. I want to everybody now, my answer, or not my answer, but the answer or explanation I'm going to explain to why a lot of people will answer this wrong might I piss people off or like if everybody just chill out and listen to me for a minute okay because it's gonna sound pretty wild you're like bitch what the fuck like who the fuck would ever give up their child just listen okay I'm specifically especially talking about married relationships obviously I mean anybody can answer this question obviously but I'm specifically talking to like the couples who are married I'm gonna ask you this question would you choose if you were in a life or death situation and somebody was gonna kill either your spouse or or your child or one of your children, who would you choose to save? Most people instinctively right off the rip are gonna say obviously the child. Why would you not save the child? They're more innocent, they're younger, they have a longer life ahead of them, blah blah blah, you get what I'm saying. And I believe I believe most parents imagine most moms and dads would never fucking let their child die or especially would never even think to let their child die over the spouse but I actually think it's something very important and I don't know if people realize it because like you won't hear this nowadays you were like the fact I feel like saying this actually kind of sounds weird the fact that uh, a couple would choose to give up their child than to give up one of them themselves so this is what I think a lot of people don't realize a lot of people be talking about when you know when you're married like this when you when you dedicate your life to somebody and you're like life your partners for life like de to death do us part when you're to where you're not going to divorce no matter what happens kind of like with my parents situations like no matter what happens they do not divorce and they stay together basically if you choose to save the child over the spouse you're you're kind of like doing your spouse dirty you're like you give them like okay 
like you choose your spouse first of all you don't really necessarily choose your kids uh and that's another thing i, I was reading into something it brought into this whole other thing and it's crazy if you really think about it your spouse is really the only person that you actually choose like other than like friends in your life like you know what I'm saying your siblings your parents your kids you don't choose none of them they just they're just the people that they are but like your spouse you actually get to choose their personality how they are or how they treat you so like it's very important and you know I hear about people complaining all the time they feel like uh okay like people flip out if uh a woman to say, well, I'll feed my husband first, or the the dad or the husband first before I feed the children, and there's some people who flip out about that, and like, what, why would you feed the husband first, like, he can get his own food, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying, and it's like, people don't realize, it's because when, when you choose to dedicate your life like that, like, he's gonna give his life for you, and once I asked my dad one day, like, you know, I feel like, or I told him, I was like, I feel like if, like, there was a situation where you had to choose between, like, me or mom, you would always choose mom. And he basically, like, uh, you know, affirmed or whatever. Uh, uh, whatever. I don't know if he said it out right. He might not. You get what I'm saying. But, like, he... I mean, maybe he did, though. He might have. Because I would have just been like, be real. Like, who, who would you choose? And, you know, me and my dad don't really like each other a lot of times. Because I'm, I'm his daughter. You know what I'm saying? He's fucking painting the ass a lot of times. And I'm painting the ass to him. So, and we didn't choose each other. So, like, I get why my dad would choose my mom. Like, why would he fucking want to be stuck with me the rest of his life? My dad can't do nothing with me. If he, if I would, if he would have to choose between me and my mom right now, and he chose me, that would be dumb. Even, even at, well, okay, maybe not now because they're both a lot older. But especially for, you know, parents who aren't past the age of reproducing specifically, um, you can always create another child. You get what I'm saying? But you can't create another them. And if you keep the child and not the spouse, then it's not like you can procreate with the child. You think like it messes it all up. Like you, you don't, this doesn't do you any favors at all. So like, that's why you would always choose a spouse because you can always make another child. You get, unfortunately, you get, this sounds, obviously this all sounds off, guys. I know, I would never, I could never even imagine actually choosing to what choosing an adult over my child I can't but I'm just saying if you really think about it this is how it's supposed to be um this is and I my mom you know basically affirmed to me on the same thing like I asked her you know and she would basically she basically said yeah I will always choose your dad or take your dad's side or always jump to him first and that's what I'm saying don't nobody take this like my parents were very loving and protecting of us don't get me wrong it's not you could just tell they had a stronger bond, which they should have. I mean, they've been together for fucking years. I mean, before I even came along, they had, you know, saying they had their kids and stuff. So, you gotta think, this is a whole lifetime. Like, once I thought about it, it kind of made sense. Like, I understand why dad would choose mom over me and why mom would choose dad over me. And I learned that I really shouldn't take it to heart like that because it's not... It's like they love us, but they kind of got to in a way. Just kind of the whole point of why you're supposed to go out and find your person. It's like, your parents can't be that person for you. You need to keep your friends. Like, you have to go out and find that person that you can, that you guys would sacrifice each other's lives for and shit.